Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at latest enhancements in Sankey chart visualization in OAC. Currently, the Sankey chart in OAC would be laid out with condensed nodes and their links. The new property node height now enables the Sankey charts to occupy more space in the visualization area. The node height property in this chart is set to condense, which is the existing layout. When you select a stretch option for node height property, the system renders stretched nodes and their links in the visualization. The stretch type node height is set as default now. For the new stretch layout, you can also adjust the space between the nodes in the columns by setting specific custom values for node gap property. The auto sets the gap at 40%. I'll reduce the gap to 20% and the nodes get taller to reduce the gap with adjacent nodes. You can also change the label position using data label position property. Similarly, you can adjust the width of the nodes using node width property. I'm going to make the nodes a bit wider. A new property called group by has been introduced to control the clustering of the nodes. This is particularly useful when you display income statement data in Sankey charts. In this Sankey chart, cash outflow from revenue goes into cost of goods sold. Remaining cash from revenue makes up the gross profit. Also, combined cash from cloud and license business, hardware business, and services business constitute the revenue. It can be better to see these cash flows in a continued sequence, where we see only one combined node for revenue. We can do this by setting group by to value. When group by is set to value, then only one node is created for each unique value in the data. Therefore, only one node is created for revenue. In this representation, cash from three businesses flows into revenue, and from revenue, cash flows into cost of goods sold, and remaining cash from revenue goes into gross profit. With these enhancements and existing capabilities, the Sankey chart is a great visualization to tell dynamic stories for a flow of a measure across multiple categories. Thanks for watching the video.